Hey, what's going on guys? Pokesome here. Finally back recording another video. Um, been on vacation, that's why I haven't posted many videos lately. I'll actually probably go ahead and post this um, uh, just shortly after I record it. Uh, but yeah, I've been on vacation. I was gone for... I was gone for a week. Um, of course, three days of that was mostly traveling. One day nothing but traveling um but anyway uh i just wanted to show you guys uh some of the things that i picked up uh because i like i said walmart has stuff on clearance i picked up a lot i'll go ahead and start with the item you can see though well if, <laughs> if there's room for it man i really should have thought this out a little bit better huh um there i'll try to there we go uh, picked up three of these mythical Meloetta Pokemon collection boxes with the generation packs. These were not from Walmart, though. They were on clearance. That's the only reason I picked them up. As you can see, $7. Uh, they were from this place in Richmond, Virginia called Second and Charles. Um, it's mostly books, mostly used books. But they also had a lot of comics, um, and a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays, some video games. And then they had some various other things, like toys and stuff. They had a few Pokemon products. Um, but these were the only ones I saw, the only collection boxes I saw on clearance. Uh, so at $7 a pop, I said, well, you know, I might as well pick up three. And actually, I don't know... If I'm ever going to open them or not, um, you guys let me know what what you think. I'm only missing two cards from the generation set. I'm missing Jolteon EX and Rapidash EX. Um, or is it a Nine Tails EX? I think it's Rapidash. Um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that's all I'm missing in the whole set. And as you guys know, there's only one card worth anything in the whole set. That's Mega Charizard. Uh, and even at seven dollars, you know, open one up. I'm probably not going to make my money back. And if I don't hit either of those two cards with Mega Charizard, I'd be disappointed. So I don't know if I should open them or not, or just save them for when they start going up in value. And you know, a few years down the road, sell them for twenty, twenty-five dollars a piece. You know, that would be quite a good little profit. Turn twenty-one dollars into. Uh, you know, 60 to 80. That would be awesome. But I don't know. We'll see. Of course, I picked up some tins. Actually, only from two different Walmarts, I think. Here we go. Here's a Xerneas tin. But it is from uh, 2016. It's the shiny Xerneas, I'm guessing. Uh, as opposed to the 2014, which would have had awesome cards in it. Picked up a Rayquaza EX tin. No, that's not black and white era. It's 2015. Picked up a Blaziken EX10. 2015. Where's my other three tens? Here they are. We have Swampert EX. Latios EX. And Hoopa EX. Alright, that's it for the tens. Oh. Now I can start pulling out of this big bag that's mostly... Okay, I picked up some stuff from Target that wasn't on clearance. I picked up this two-pack, one full card, ten cards, and one coin to have a, have it through a little side-by-side uh, -side competition uh, on which is better... Oh, crap. With... <sighs> Come on, where is it at? Um... Okay, I'm missing something. I wonder if it fell out inside the vehicle we were riding in. Um, that's what I'm hoping. I mean, I'm hoping I just didn't lose $10. And if so, this will just be a sad little video to do by itself. At least, I don't think I've pulled it out yet. Pokemon, Pokemon. Never mind, here it is. <laughs> I'm just a blind old dummy. It's going to go head to head up against this two plaques, two plaques, two packs plus two full plus two coins. 
Um, which one do I think is going to be the better buy? I think it's going to be this one because I'd rather have an extra foil as opposed to 10 regular cards. But we'll see. You never can tell. And the coins, I don't give a crap about. So, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. All right. Now, all of the blisters, not all of these are on sale. Two of these were new, or at least new that I've seen. They probably came out when Forbidden Light did. But you have the Garbodor and the Rigigigas blisters with two Forbidden Light packs and one Burning Shadows pack. Those were regularly priced $13. Oh, these were not on sale either. I picked them up from GameStop for a good price, though. Pre-release kits from Ultra Prism and uh, Forbidden Light. So, the, yeah, those were 20 bucks a piece. I've never seen them in a store for under 25 so I picked them up. Now, these others were from Walmart. A couple or three different Walmarts. Got a Ancient Origins Blister times two. Both of Alamar promos. Uh, Primal Clash with a Ditto promo. Burning Shadows. And another Primal Clash Ditto. All right. Um, yeah. So, all of that. Oh, and I did pick up one single Pokemon card at a comic shop. Well, they had a lot of cards, too. We picked up. Look at that. Is that not sweet? The Reverse Hollow Charizard from Crystal Guardians. Now, if that is not the picture of beauty, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's just... And I didn't think about picking it up because it... I did seem to notice a scratch in the hollow. I don't know if it's really gonna, I really need to turn the overhead light on. Um, actually, I don't, I thought it was right in this area around his belly. <laughs> I don't know that I can see it now. I could have swore I saw a couple of scratches there. Maybe if I turned the light on, I can see it. Uh, but yeah, the back looks pretty good too. A little bit of whiting right there, maybe a little there. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely glad that I picked this up, as you can see, for $35. But I'm very glad because I'm going to check the market price after I bought it. It's already gone up from $30 something dollars to $52. So yeah, uh, especially with this being the reverse. Very good deal. All right, that's it for Pokemon cards, but I also picked up some comics. So if you guys don't care about comics, I guess you can stop watching at this point. Um, if you guys want me to start doing more videos with comics, let me know. I could make a different channel or just do it on this channel, which is what I'd rather do. But anyway, um, I picked up, <laughs> just wait till you see it. Let me let her out and go get those comics. All right, I'm back with my comics. Now these first few here I picked up from uh, that place I was talking about uh, where I picked up the Meloetta boxes. That place called Second and Charles in Richmond, Virginia. I don't know if that's the only one that there is or, you know, if there's more. I have no clue. It's the first one I've ever seen, so I had to go in there. Nothing special about these. It's just... If you bought four or more, you got 50% off. So I got all of these comics for 48 cents a piece. <laughs> Basically, 47 and a half, really. Oh no, wait, I take it back. One of them, wasn't one of them marked as $2? Oh, never mind. I put that one down. I put that one back. Uh, here we have, and I might have already had all of these. I can't remember though, so I just picked them up in case. Batman 455. Batman 459, 468, 478. Uh, those were the only Batman single issues I could find at a dollar. Um, I could have probably searched a little bit more, but no. Nah. All right, then I picked up from uh, Jeff Johns 2000, what, uh, his 2005 run on Green Lantern, right after Rebirth. Um, picked up number 20 and number 21. So those were at a dollar pretty good. They, they actually had almost the whole run through like 30. They didn't have number one, but they had almost the whole run. They didn't have like variants and stuff, 
but they had almost the whole run other than that. And I was going to pick up like all of them, but uh, to my surprise, I'm, and I'm glad I looked up on mycomicshop.com, the prices they had them listed for, and they've cooled off a lot here in the last few years, unfortunately, because these used to be hot, hot comics. Uh, that just goes to show you, some comics stay hot, and some, unfortunately, do not. All right. Now, these next few I picked up from The Great Escape in Nashville. Uh, picked up Amazing Spider-Man, number 602. Um, the, a lot of the early 600s are worth a little bit. Actually, 601 and 606. Whew. I don't get it, but you're going to have to pay, I think, at least $50 each for one of those if you want them near mint. Um, I know that's probably not book price, Overstreet book price, but Overstreet's just wrong on a lot of things. Like a lot of newer stuff, they're just completely inaccurate. Uh, they're just out of touch um, with a lot of the newer comics. Uh, but yeah. This one at 350 plus Great Escape. It was all their comics were either 10 or 25 percent off. I can't remember. I think I think I just got 10. Maybe it's a new comics that's 25 percent off. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah. So yeah, all these were 10 percent off, and uh, yeah, I got 602, 603, 605. And I picked these up, although they're not really worth any more than what I paid. But I didn't know that at the time. I just knew the early 600s were worth a little money. 608, 9, and 10. And then I finally picked up Walking Dead number 1. Uh, this is the second printing of it uh, from 2008 called the Special Edition. Where uh, you had the script and proposal in it. And, uh, you know, a few other cool things. Um... Yeah, finally picked it up. It's not near mint, but it was only fifteen dollars plus ten percent off, so it was thirteen fifty. Uh, yeah, color break there. Not great condition, but I'm happy with what I paid for it. All right, uh, these next three I picked up from an antique, uh, a huge antique place. Well, pretty big, uh, called Snoopers in Whitefield. Uh, Virginia. It's uh, just past the Tennessee state line. It, you know, it's not that big of a place. Um, but Snoopers is a pretty, uh, in the area, pretty famous antique place. I picked up Avengers number 43, the first ever appearance of Red Guardian. <laughs> what the heck, you know, it was $5. Uh, of course, it is in awful shape. Missing the cover right there and there. It, it in I mean in this condition it may only be worth five dollars or ten uh, but hey maybe this dude will be in a movie someday you never know uh, and I picked up Tim cell variant of Batman number one DC Universe and John Romita jr variant to Batman number 51 uh, second second run uh, you know Scott Snyder's run and then, in uh, Williamsburg, Virginia, there was a comic, a comic shop. No. Well, there is a comic shop. But, um, no, there's a uh, an, an antique place there. And we went there, and there were several, of course, they had several comics there and stuff. But I picked up this bad boy, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Don't get excited. As you can see, it says at the top, reprinting the first appearance of Morbius. Uh, Morbius the Vampire. Yeah, when I saw this laying, th there were three single comics just laying on in an area with no other comics. And I saw this and I said, no way. No way did I just find Amazing Spider-Man number 101. And of course I saw this as like, ah, uh, second appearance. Uh, but, I mean, it's still worth more than what I paid. I don't know. Might only be worth... Depending on condition, it's worth five, 
to eight dollars probably. I paid two for it. Uh, maybe it'll go up one day. We'll see. Uh, Morbius still has not been in a movie, so yeah. Second print, it won't go up that much. Uh, but I mean, the first print is worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And then I went to there's a comic shop in Williamsburg called Comic Cubicle. Look it up if you're in the Williamsburg, Virginia area ever. It's an awesome place. <clears throat> but I picked up a uh, guy didn't have number five, but I picked up a uh, a little run of the first Marvel Zombies comics by Robert Kirkman. And of course, there's four and three and number two and a variant to number one. So that's pretty cool. Actually, the regular uh, print of number one is worth a little more, I think. But this one may be harder to find. I'm not sure exactly on the value on this. But this was $20. And I know if it was first print it, or the regular print, it wouldn't have been that. And I picked up one more comic that if you know anything about comics, you're going to know what it is. And if you don't know anything about comics, I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, had to make sure it made it through the right home. Now, this is uh, not a Batman comic. Not a Batman comic at all. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 300 and it is in I'm not going to take it out of this to show y'all sorry um, but it is in uh, I'm, I'm going to put it near mint minus the guy that sold me this said it was at least a near mint minus and then when I looked at it I mean he said he couldn't find anything wrong with it I could find I, I did find a couple of flaws I'm, I'm saying it's near mint minus at the most, but that's what I'm going to call it since he said, it, oh, it's at least near mint minus. This is a comic shop owner. He's been in business for, business, been in business for almost 30 years, so uh, I might put it closer to a very fine slash near mint 9.0, but I'll call it near mint minus 9.2 because he said that's what it is at least. So, hey, maybe even I'll call it a 9.4. I'll call it whatever I want to call it. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a long, long, long time before I ever sell this unless I need the money. Because if you guys don't know how much this is worth or anything about this, uh, the guy wanted $400 for it. I paid $350. He gave me a little deal. And not much above 10%, but that's okay. That's what I thought I was going to get it for. That's what I got it for. Um yeah, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300. This was, if you've seen the old Tobey Maguire movies, a lot of that had to do with, was based on stuff going on in the comics at this time. Uh, this was the last time he wore the black suit. Well, never mind. I'm not going to reveal any spoilers for the recent Amazing Spider-Man comics. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, the last time he wore it, uh, MJ, I think, was getting tired of it. It was probably kind of changing him, maybe. I don't know. I actually haven't read it <laughs> um, because, well, I'm not reading this comic. That would take away from the grade, you know, uh, even if it's been read before. Um, but, yeah, because uh, th th this is the last time he wore it, and... Oh, never mind. I'm not going to go into deep detail because uh, if you don't know anything about it, you probably don't care. But this is the first ever appearance of Venom. That's why it's worth so much. That and the fact that it is number 300. Uh, typically in the bigger comics like Spider-Man's and Batman's, stuff like that, uh, every 100 issues is a bigger issue and typically more collectible and more valuable. And this was number 300 uh, for May 88. And, uh, yeah, that, that's the reason there's part of the value, too. First ever full appearance of Venom, because after he 
she had the black costume, you know, it was actually an alien symbiote, and it merged with Eddie Brock, forming Venom, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and actually, if if the Venom movie doesn't do too well, I'm really not that worried. If it doesn't do too well, it's not going to affect the price of this book. It just isn't. It might in the short term, but in the long term, it's not. I mean, look at Punisher, Amazing Spider-Man number 129, first appearance Punisher. It just keeps going up and up and up and up. So, yeah. And holy crap, I'm 20 minutes into this video. Wow. I did not mean to go on for this long. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And, of course, I'm... I mean, this is one of the coolest, hottest issues there is. I was trying to find a New Mutants 98, but I could not find one loose. Uh, I found, actually, there was a guy I talked to in a comic shop that said he had one. It was a CGC 96, though, and I didn't want to pay CGC 96 price for a graded copy. I mean, unless it was a 98, and then I'd be paying what buttload of money that I'd rather buy it loose for. I know where I can find it loose, though, so I'm going to own it one day. might not be for a couple of months until my birthday, but uh, I'll own the Mutants 98 one day. It uh, Maybe it won't go up more than, you know, $25 in between uh, in the next two and a half months. Two and a half, three months. Uh, all right, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to be cracking into that stuff. Actually, I'm going to crack into some of it right now. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, Jeez. I guess I'll post this. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, be excellent to yourself, dudes. Have a good one.